everyone. This is Game Devs Play Games, where we play games and talk game design. Yeah, it is. And We're today, playing more oxen free. Yeah. Woo. And I finally made it down Little Cliff Wall. <laughs> well, you did make it down last episode. Last episode, but ashtray down here or a pen. Well, he was smoking before, so. Well, an ashtray and a pen, mind you. And just because he was smoking doesn't mean that he has an ashtray. I mean, who really carries around ashtrays with them? I feel like this is the perfect spot for some, like, crazy writer, like... See a man about a dog. Sure, will do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, there he is. Didn't you hear me calling for you? Jesus, you scared me. <laughs> I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought... I thought I heard somebody down here, but, you know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? Or obviously I mean, there is. How this, how this happens. No, it's, uh, it's beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? <laughs> kind of. I don't know Maybe where like it's coming from. A giant. What could that be? Echoes? Sounds of the ocean bouncing off the walls? She's being pretty logical. There was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. Yeah. Man, and just I mean, imagine look, how many crazy, cool, like, we can get the others. urban legends not, we'll we would have if we had grown up in an area that had a cave like this. Oh, that'd be sweet. Especially, like, in an, in an age when they would actually not, like, I don't know, barricade it or, like, prevent kids from going near it. Because nowadays, like, it's either totally blocked off or it's, like, turned into a tourist site if there's something like that. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, I can understand why people would turn it into a tourist site. And not that people shouldn't try to keep kids safe. Like, what like, is this made out of? I is wish I had something like this when I was a kid. Of it or cold, even, like, a quarter of as it. interesting as this. Oh, yeah. This is hella pretty. Wow, so I know that? that the triangular theme is something the floating, that we're going to um, keep seeing throughout the game. But I definitely thing. noticed it right now. Um... Actually, it must be look like up a, there. See like up in that corner? Or like a reflection of light? Those, oh, that's um, what they're exist, talking about. Right? Um, cave, triangle rainbows. <laughs> sure, why not? Let's go with that for the time being. Huh. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there and the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. Aliens. Really? You think? Definitely. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. And all Ghostbusters uh, toaster over here. Let's do it. Come on. Radio time. Oh my uh, god. Is this? Are you? Is this? You? Are you doing this? Should, should I stop? No, this is awesome. It's kind of crazy how it becomes hard to hear them. I think that's the point. Yeah, it like, I feel like it Whoa. gives it kind of more power. Whoa. Yeah, this is wild. Like, what is, what? Is it, it, what? I just want to know what it is. I know. Uh. What is happening? It doesn't seem like much is changing. Maybe it's just waiting for a third point. Yeah, I think so. You can see it kind of up there. Yeah, so I wonder if it's in between the two points that you already established. I don't know if they're waiting for me to do anything else in this, or if that's about all that's going to happen. Oh no. Oh. There it is. 
like another planet or do you think that was maybe the bottom bottom of the the sea or the ocean or wherever or we like the beach his mom communicating or her brother communicating oh, Alex. oh that would be crazy that was my first thought whoa what, what? are you okay you all right i thought you were dead for a minute <sighs> what happened that is a very good question. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there, but the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home <laughs> as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the party just kind of pooped itself. We can't leave without my friends, okay? You're... <sighs> Ren, sure, but does that list really include Clarissa I'm not saying leave her but I just want to get this whole escape thing moving we can't leave anybody behind they're here somewhere this is not this yeah is nothing. okay it's not really cool okay. to leave someone yeah enough even if you don't really like them a little deep pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it but if this is some sort of prank or trick I'm really really not in the mood Jonas, <laughs> be a pretty elaborate me. prank I do that to you I'm not that cruel. <sighs> okay, well, I hope so. Just cross your fingers the comm tower has a working walkie-talkie or something. I feel like the comm tower is going to be part of this. Wait, Jonas, seriously, like, what just happened? My radio, I guess, opened something, and that something did something else. And that something was really friggin' scary and horrible, so let's just skip to the part where we get off the island and start suppressing it in therapy. <laughs> Tower. Oh, it's called that, I think, because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> Wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> <laughs> that would explain why I remember it. <laughs> I mean, I feel like no matter how old you are, that would that should always be funny. Well, should we uh, talk about something game designy? Yeah, it's not the end of the episode, but we can talk a little bit of game design. So, that I mean, that situation in general was really interesting, right? Um, because I think that that moment alone is what makes the player ask the questions about the game. Um, so I think they gave us just enough to to only ask questions and not give us any answers. Oh yeah, and I mean, if you're I mean, from a from a narrative standpoint, it's sort of like the inciting incident, right? Like yeah, well yeah, because now it's not just about hanging out on the beach and getting drunk. It's about let's get off this island because this is creepy. Mm -hmm. But also, I mean, I think it was a very effective moment because we were talking through this and like making comments, but we were both very engrossed in what was happening. <laughs> so <laughs> for you in the audience or for whoever's watching this, you probably noticed that. Yeah, it's, it's for a reason. That was well done. 
I mean, I'm fucking curious. It, yeah, from a visual effect standpoint too, that was in, that was incredibly well done because it's like, it's it's. I mean, the triangle thing makes you want to like continue what you're doing to finish the triangle, right? Like, they set it up. And and I like too that they had the triangle the kind of up there, the triangle rainbow as they call it, or the cave rainbow. What do you think happened? Um, but I, I really like how they just kind of had it there. And and I noticed it before I even heard them talking about it, but it was such a minor There's detail, no and it still felt in incredibly out of place in an environment that was already walls. seemingly really unnatural, right? Because right. caves don't form in perfect triangles like that. Right. Um, so everything about that environment, like, was very distinct in a, in a way that, like, was interesting. Um but even giving us the tiny little triangle was enough to make us be like, I gotta know more. I need to know more. What is that? Oh, after you. Oh, why, thank you. What are you? So you can interact with people the way you would. Objects. Okay, that makes sense. I was in there and I hit space and. I wonder if we've had that capability this whole time and we could have been interacting with. Oh. The other characters. Oh, Not that I think we really missed out on much, but. Camera. Oh God, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, should we call How's next episode? This? Yeah, we should save the rest of the con uh, communication tower for the next episode. Um, but until then, question of the day. Um, I want to ask. I feel like there's a lot of things we could ask. Um, I don't know. Do you have anything? Oh, I'll let you pick. Okay. I guess we were inevitably going to make it to that point with the triangle. I guess... Yeah, what if I never went in the caves or, like, what? Did we... Yeah, I guess we did kind of have that option, right? Yeah. So, okay. Do you think, then, that either... A, we were going to end up in the caves no matter what, right? Like, the the illusion of choice doesn't exist in that we were going to kind of be railroaded to that point no matter what. Or B, um, if, say, say we weren't railroaded, right? Do you think it's okay for the player to miss that, that scenario? Yeah, maybe it could have happened elsewhere. Yeah. I, I feel like it must have had to have happened somewhere if we could have missed the caves, right? Um, I don't know. I guess maybe the question is then, do you think that the player should have more control than... Hmm, I missed interacting in, in, with something in the caves, too. Yeah, that's true. I, I did notice that, and I wonder what that would have been. So maybe... I don't know. This... This, this one isn't an easy one to come up with questions for. Um, I mean, the inciting incident's important, right? Because that justifies everything that we've been doing. Right. So, I guess... And it raises all the questions. Yeah, absolutely. So do you think that that's important to have this moment before we start giving the player more freedom? Or do you think the player should have had more freedom prior to this point? S saying that we didn't truly have a lot of options in, in getting to that, that point. Does that uh, kind of make sense? Yeah, I don't know how else to phrase it. Yeah, it's it's kind of a weird question of the day, but I hope you guys yeah, kind of get where I'm going before, with this. You might have a better, yeah, some better context. Yeah, def definitely let us know if you have played this before, whether or not there actually is any level of control and if that scenario could have happened elsewhere. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm curious. Now I kind of want to go and play this on my own and see. Choose other options. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. I think this is the last episode for this recording session, so if you want to see part five or more, be sure to vote for Oxen Free in the voting section. And if you want to see something else, then choose one of those other two options, and then Jen and I, or probably Jen and I, will play that game next. Sounds good. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks. Bye. Bye.